in Nigeria now unable to sustain the rally seen in early trading this week, the All Share Index dipped today by about seven tenths of a percent to close at 37,870 points. The benchmark index was dragged lower by losses in Nestle Nigeria, which fell for about five naira today. Other laggards are Guinness Nigeria, Dangote Cement, Nigerian Breweries, and Unilever. And meanwhile, Forte Oil, Cadbury, Mobile, Narco, and Cement Company of Northern Nigeria all posted gains. Let's now speak to Roti Mifaka Ejo, uh, Managing Director at Enterprise Capital Partners, to give us his thoughts on the market's performance today. Um, Rotimi, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, yes, the market is lower today, and I guess a lot of people saw that coming. It has been on a winning streak over the last five sessions. But let's talk a bit about some of the stocks that continue to do well. Forte Oil and Transcore, they continue to outperform the market. Indeed, Forte Oil is up well by 1,000%, and now we get a sense that Transcore could be the new Forte Oil, given the fact that they are also invested in the oil and gas space. What are your thoughts on these stocks in particular? Well, I think uh, for me, these stocks are, have become very outstanding in the market, and uh, for the fact that uh, we've really seen it do very well in recent times. Uh, basically, uh, the two of them are like, uh, for Forte Oil, it's like two companies in a particular, in, a, in one, and uh, for Transcorp Oil, is a multi-company in a particular quoted company. And I think uh, the two of them have just made an entry into the power sector. And these are the only two quoted companies in, the, uh, in that particular sector. Uh, for that reason, I think uh, it's been a lot of uh, uh, rush to be a part of those companies because uh, there has been an agitation for, for the uh, listing of power companies when they be uh, uh, privatized, as, as we have seen right now. And I think basically uh, we, the, the companies are still going to do much better than we are seeing presently. All and right, I so Forte Oil clearly has done outstandingly well this year. Could Transco be the new Forte Oil? It's gained quite a bit as well. Now it's at a year high as well. Your thoughts about where Transco is likely to go from here? Well, I think uh, in the immediate, uh, we're going to see it get to like uh, three naira. The, I think there's going to be a pause for quite a while. Then uh, we see it again get to another level, moving very close to five naira. And I believe by the time the, um, the, the figures will start coming in from the power plant, power, generation, power, power generating plant, to add to the figures we already have of Transcorp, then definitely we are going to see that stock fly very high. I don't want to raise the hope of investors too high, but I believe that strongly in about six months, nine months down the line, we may see the price of Transcorp as high as about five naira. All right, we will keep our eye on that stock. I mean, we are, we are gradually rounding up that Q3 earnings season. In the banking sector, we're perhaps waiting for First Bank to report in amongst the tier, two, tier one banks. Let's talk about that stock and your broad expectations going forward. Is this a stock you like? And given the fact that we still haven't seen the numbers, how bullish are you about First Bank? Well, I think uh, First Bank is uh, the stock as a company, as a company is well known in the country, it, it has a brand, and there is a bank that every family wants to identify with for the strength they have and the sustainability they have, uh, we have seen in them for over the years. But uh, for the for it as a stock, I think uh, in time past in the banking sector, it used to be the leader, but I think it's fast receding to the third position right now. And I think uh, the, the, the kind of delay we are seeing in the release of the results, the reason the uh, CEO gave was that they want to bring in an auditor report uh, for nine months. And I think an uh, auditor report for nine months, since it's not a full year, ought to have been out by now. But I think uh, for the investors have waited so long, and uh, we are becoming, uh, uh, operators alike are becoming doubtful about the kind of figures that are going to come out because. The, we've seen uh, some of the banks having shown the, uh, the, the weakness arising from the increase in the CRL. And I think uh, First Bank may fall another prey to this uh, weakness. So we, investors are very much alive to the expectation of that result, but it's getting too long to come. But I right. basically Let, so which stocks do you like going forward, going into next week? We've seen the market fall back a little bit today. What are your best investment ideas going into next week? Well, even as the USCN still dropped some points today, I still want to give it as one of the stocks to look out for. And I think um, the likes of uh, Cadbury, I we believe that investors 
will rather concentrate in the industrial goods and the consumer goods sector for next week. And I think uh, that is really going to play out well for them.